Hello, this is Uwe. Today I'm working on my Cowboy CB3200, which is somewhat of a clone of the Juki 441 class machines. I want to show how I adjust the walking foot linkage. Essentially the linkage here that comes across and over here that lifts the feet to create the walking motion. I have my machine set to maximum walking height right now. So this lever is all the way at the bottom to create the maximum motion. And when I turn the machine, you can see this is how it's supposed to be. The moment the needle and the inner or front foot are supposed to arrive at the throat plate at the same time, the rear foot starts lifting the moment it sets down again, the front foot starts lifting. So the position where the needle descends and is at the height of the feet dog, that is sort of our zero position, let's put it that way. And in this position, the correct position of these linkages is this should be essentially vertical as should be these here. These screw and this bolt should be directly above each other, vertical, as should these here. So they're connected, so if one is, the other one is as well. On my machine, one detail I wanted to point out uh, is that I had to grind off a small portion of this clamp back here. It had already been ground at the factory, but not quite enough, so on my machine, this part here, this clamp, was touching this part here and causing a bind in this correct adjustment of these linkages. So on my machine, I had to grind off just a little bit more back here to create enough clearance for the parts to move without touching. This may only be a issue with the CB3200, I think, Original Juki, TSC441, and other 441 clones have a slightly different bracket here, and so this interference may not be an issue on your machine. So let me just go over how I adjust it, or I'm going to loosen the parts that can be adjusted. So I'm loosening the clamping screw up here that drops everything down, sort of allows you to move the linkage. And I'm also going to loosen the screws. There's two screws, one below here and one accessible through here, that clamp this linkage mechanism to the rear presser bar. So I'm going to loosen both of those screws to show you how I adjust it. So now both the clamping screw up here and two clamping screws that hold this block against the rear presser bar are loose. And I can just move the entire mechanism like this. So in order to adjust it, then I turn my hand wheel until the needle is, the tip of the needle is at the same level as the throat plate. I press down the feet and this is the zero position. So in this position, I look at my linkages here and it's just slightly over. I hold down the feet with my left hand and I'm pushing the linkage. You can see how I can sort of adjust the position. By doing this, I'm essentially sliding this block up and down on the rear presser bar and I'm sliding it to the position where this screw is directly above the other one. And in this position, I'm tightening the top clamping screw again. And I'm also tightening both of these clamping screws that hold this pivot block on the rear presser bar. So now all three screws are tight again, 
and the mechanism should work as it's supposed to. And on my machine, it works just like it's supposed to. The front foot and the needle arrive at the fold plate at the same time, rear lifts, and so forth. So this is how I figured out the adjustment of my machine. The mechanics manual or the engineering manual does not really go into that a great deal. But like I mentioned before, at the zero position, this part of the linkage should just be vertical. And that puts my machine into the correct position to make this walking foot motion work just right. Now let me show you, in case you have a 3200 and you need to fix this, I'm going to show you how to remove this part. There's only two screws. You loosen this clamping screw up here, and then you loosen this shoulder screw that provides the pivot point. Well, come on out. All right, so here we go. This is this shoulder bolt that connects this linkage here. Once you have this removed, you can remove this part here. And I just wanted to show you the modification that I made. Like I mentioned, from the factory, they had ground off or filed off just this very corner, but it was not quite enough. So I took this part to my grinding wheel. You can also use just a normal file to provide enough clearance for it to move a very large motion, range of motion without touching anything else. So hopefully that gives you the information you need to adjust your machine and maybe make a minor modification if you have a CB3200 to make sure it is not interfering and creating a bind. So I'm right now just tightening it in the same position again. This here needs to be vertical and you should be good. Hopefully this is useful. Good luck, bye-bye.